Hey there, I'm Dr. A. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about the party drug MDMA and it being used to treat alcoholism. But I think the atmosphere isn't just right to talk about a party drug. So let's go somewhere else. MDMA, ecstasy, E, M, Molly, Malcolm, Methylene, Dioxy, Methamphetamine, whatever you like to call it, this drug, ecstasy, is being used by researchers in UK to treat alcoholism. Want to know how? I'll let you know. But uh, before that, a short disclaimer. This video is in no way me trying to glorify uh, drugs or ecstasy in particular. This is just me trying to tell you how ecstasy is being used in medicine. But before that, let's get something to eat. No, 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 no not that, not that. When I'm under your control, I'm losing my So researchers from the University College of London are conducting a study in Bristol to see how MDMA can help people with alcoholism. Now, how does MDMA work? Basically acts by increasing the serotonin levels in your brain. It's literally an antidepressant that acts almost immediately but has a lot of side effects if taken in an improper manner. So what these researchers are doing is that they are selecting a set of subjects who can be ideally be part of this MDMA study and these are alcoholics uh, and these people are made to go through two to three days of proper alcohol withdrawal which is controlled and then on the second or the third day they are given like calculated amounts of MDMA and then they are spoken to, they are counselled, given a questionnaire and then they are left alone to think for some time to see what the triggers are for their uh, alcoholism. Now, alcoholism and drug addiction is not caused because these people enjoy being drunk or being drugged up. It's because they have some internal conflicts that they think can escape from by using alcohol or these drugs. Now, these patients on MDMA, what they do is that they can open up better and speak to their psychiatrist about their internal triggers and everything that's causing them to be addicted to alcohol. Because in quitting alcohol, what's most important and what's most difficult is to be without alcohol for a long time. It's not the initial quitting part that can be kind of managed with medical care, but the being without alcohol for a long time is what needs to be addressed. And this MDMA therapy can address that because you can know what the root cause of a person being dependent on alcohol is. So that's all about the MDMA therapy. Thanks for watching. If you have any video suggestions, any ideas to give me, please put it down in the comment sections below. I love hearing back from you guys. Till I see you again, stay happy, stay healthy. Cheers. Molly, methylene dye. <laughs> no, no, you can go. It's still... Please, you can go, you can go, still.